Well, hello, Internet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Anaconda, Jupyter, and a whole ton of data science and machine learning packages that we will be using on Windows, specifically in this video. There's another video where I also show you how to set up everything on Mac OS. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we are going to be installing something called Anaconda. You can go to anaconda.com and find this, and it's free. And basically, Anaconda is going to contain the Python interpreter as well as Jupyter, which we will be using to write code in really new, really interesting ways. And Anaconda also is going to provide a lot of packages, like I said, for data science as well as machine learning. So just go to anaconda.com, click on download. Then you're going to come down here to the Windows section, and then you're going to install the Python 3.7 version. And it'll either be 64-bit or 32-bit, depending upon what type of computer you have. I'm going to click on 64-bit. And then after it downloads, you can just come down here and click on Open. And whenever you do, this is going to pop up. This is the installer. So you're basically just going to be clicking Next a whole bunch of times. So we just agree, and just me recommended Next. And I just always use the default installation directory. Click on Next. And I would uncheck this and check right here. And then click on Install. And that's going to take a little bit of time to install. And after it all finishes up, you're going to see a window like this that says Completed. Click on Next. And then click on Next. And then uncheck both of these unless you want to read about this stuff. And click on Finish. After you do that, you're going to be able to come down here and click on your little start button. And you're going to click on Anaconda Navigator. Later on, you might decide just to click on Jupyter Notebook, but I want to show you Anaconda first. And whenever you open it up, you're going to see all of the different options you're going to uh, have available to you for editing your code. We're going to be using Jupyter, however. If you come over here and click on Environments, you'll be able to sort through all of the stuff, all the packages and such that have been installed already for you. We will be using a whole bunch of them, and I'll be introducing them and what they do as the tutorial continues. But let's go back to Home here, and I would come up here to Jupyter and click on Launch. And whenever you do, it's actually going to open up your browser, and it's going to show a whole bunch of different files. This is a local server that's being run right here. You're going to be able to come over here and click on New. And what we're going to do is click on Folder to create a new folder. And it's going to automatically create a folder with the name Untitled Folder. If you want to create a brand new one or you want to change the name on this more specifically, you can just put a check mark inside of here and then come up here and click on Rename. That's going to open up a area to enter your new name for your folder. I'm going to call it Jupyter Files. Click on Rename. And what we can do is come over here where it has new once again. And what we're going to do is create a Python 3 file. But it's specifically going to have the extension IPYNB. And that stands for IPython Notebook Document. And whenever you do, you're going to see right here where we're going to be able to come in here and just start writing some code. Now you can come in and things are going to work a little bit different, but it's still basically Python 3. So we could say something like, just um, message, for example, is equal to hello data science, like that. And then you're going to be able to execute your code in a bunch of different ways. It's best to learn how to use your shortcuts, but what we're going to do here first is to output our message. We're just going to simply type in message. And what this is going to allow you to do, meaning Jupyter, is you're going to have code, you're going to be able to put in text, you're going to be able to use LaTeX. I don't know if you know what LaTeX is, but it basically allows you to put in really complex formulas in really interesting ways. You're going to be able to run your different data science packages and print out all kinds of different graphical representations of data. It's really a super platform. But if you want to just simply come in here and execute this code, you just hit Control and Enter. And you can see that it prints Hello Data Science out on the screen. You could also come in and hold down Shift and hit Enter to execute the code and then open a new input box for entering additional code. You can see I did that right there. You'd be able to come in here and move between your different code input areas just by moving up and down inside using your keyboard arrow keys. And let's say that you would want to come in here and cut out a piece of code. So we could do something like 
message two is equal to goodbye, just to put something inside of here. All right, so I have this all set up. Now what I can simply do is I can come in here and let's say I wanted to cut this out and then I can just hit escape and that's gonna take us, I don't know if you noticed up here, there's a little pen tool up inside of here, but let's say I wanted to cut out this code, I could just press on X, see I cut it out and then I could press V to paste it somewhere else inside of my document. And I'm just pressing the letter V and X's. I'm not holding down any other keys. You can see right here, we're all going to be able to also come in and put in different markdown text and such. So let's say that I wanted to change this to just text that I wanted to write. So here is an important message and I can hit shift and enter. And once again, you can see there is the text message and it's not going to any way intrude upon or impede the code from executing. We'd also be able to come in, let's say that I decided that I wanted to put uh, another code block above this markdown text that we have inside of here. I can just select it, hit escape and hit A and it went and created another code input area. I could then come down here and let's say I wanted to put another code input area underneath of it. I could just go where I want it to be and click on B. See, it created another one right there. I could also come in and delete cells. Again, I don't wanna be in the editing mode whenever I do this. And to do that, I just click on DD and you can see it deleted both of those cells and that works with the code as well as the markdowns and so forth and so on. Also, I could come in and I could say um, important message and let's say you can see the pen, to pen tools up here right now now let's say that i would want to convert this from code into markdown i just press escape again and click on m and now it's just regular old markdown text and also i can come in here and convert what is set as just basic markdown text into code just once again make sure that the pencil tool is not here if it is, hit escape to get rid of it and, and to go into command mode. But if I wanted to convert this into code, I just select it and press Y. And there you are, you're working in code again. Whenever you execute, you can also, instead of doing shift enter and such like I always do, you can just click on run on whatever is selected and it will execute. And if something should go wrong, you can just click on this stop button here and that is going to stop the code from executing. And there's a basic rundown of installing pretty much everything you're gonna need for data science, as you're gonna see as the videos continue, as well as a rundown of how to use pretty much all the basic tools you're gonna need for Jupyter. And I'll provide a lot more as we continue. And also you're gonna be able to come in here and rename files. So enter a new notebook name, and I can just call this sample file or whatever I'd like and rename, and there you go. All right, so a whole bunch of things, and we'll be doing much more with Jupyter and Anaconda and a lot more in regards to data science and machine learning packages. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.